the nature of my, my job was an assassin. So I was looking in the faces of people as I shot them. I was with Yasser Arafat in 2004, just five months before he died. And I, I was hoping somehow I can witness to him. And the Lord gave me an idea as I was sitting with him. He was talking about the, the fight because at that time, Sharon had him cornered in his office in Ramallah and destroyed everything around him. And so he talking about that. I looked at him and I said, Mr. President, do you know how God made man? He said, of course, made him from the dust of the earth. I said, did you stop to think how he really made him? He said, I don't understand. I said, Mr. President, I was reading in the Torah when God was making Adam. And uh, I saw God in a cloud forming Adam with his own hands. And then after he finished forming Adam, he looked at Adam and smiled. And then God bowed down and put his lips on Adam's nostrils and breathed into him the breath of life. Adam shook and become alive. At that moment, I felt so guilty. I felt, I said, God, I don't want to live anymore. Take me. Who am I to take a human life that God has gone that far to make? And I was crying, even at Arafat's desk. And, and, and uh, Arafat said, why? Why are you guilty? I said, Mr. President, you remember I was a sniper. I was looking in the faces of people as I killed them. These faces were coming to me that moment. I was seeing them. And I was feeling so dirty, so unhuman, to take a life of God have gone so far to bowing on his knees and to put his breath into our life. And I got up and sat on my chair. I went on the floor, I was showing him. And I looked him straight in the eye and I said, Mr. President, enough bloodshed. Our people have suffered enough. When I say my, our people, Mr. President, I mean our Arab Palestinians and our Jewish brothers and sisters. We are blood brothers or cousins. His eyes just got so big and his lips started going like this fast. And, and um, I felt at that moment I need to change the subject, but